Hi guys, today I am going to share with you a process that I had mentioned on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Doodle D Designs. And basically what this is, is I purchased some glitter tape from Michaels. And if any of you have purchased glitter tape from Michaels, you will know that it sheds like crazy. I mean, those little glitters get everywhere and it drives me absolutely insane. And I do not like to use the glitter tape in any of my projects because of the fact of the shedding. I didn't know it shedded so bad. I bought about five or six rolls at one time and I am not anywhere near Michael's. So the inconvenience of returning them would have been really big. So I came up with an idea of how I could use it anyway. <laughs> so this is basically what we're gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you how I seal my glitter washi tape so that it can become usable. You're gonna need a couple of supplies. I have a scissors. I have some masking tape, I have Mod Podge, and this is the um, gloss version. You want to make sure you use the gloss version because the non-glossy matte version will dull the glitter too much. You want to use a paintbrush. This one I use specifically for my Mod Podge, but I make sure that I rinse it afterwards so the bristles are still okay. And of course, the offending Michaels glitter tape. As you can see, I keep it in this little baggie because I cannot stand to have it even out on my desk because of the mess that it makes. And you'll need one last item, which is just a uh, piece of scratch paper. Uh, I mispunched this piece of paper, as you can see, so we're gonna use it for scraps. Now, I am only gonna do one side. These are my inserts for November. They're from So Much Crafting. And I'm going to just do one side. I'd like to run washi down this side right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer so this way you can get a better look. Okay, now if you've used the Michaels glitter tape, the first thing that you notice about it besides the mess is that it is on paper backing so it doesn't stick to itself like a normal rule of washi. The reason why I'm not laying this just down on the paper and instead of directly on my insert is because I have tried it directly on a piece of scratch paper and when I tried to lift it up, it ripped the tape and it was not good. So it's best to do it directly on your insert. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut a piece of this and you can just rip this tape and I'm gonna peel off the backing and let's see how long this takes me because it usually takes me forever. Okay, I'm going to peel off the paper backing. I'm going to take the washi tape and I'm going to place it down where I want it to be. And I might just pull this off screen because it's a little easier for me to center it when it's not at an angle and I'm right directly above it. Okay, it's down on my paper and I know it's very difficult to see, but there is glitter everywhere. It's already driving me crazy and I've only touched it once and you can see it all over the paper. So I have it down on the paper now. And I mean, this glitter is just literally everywhere, guys. So let me just make sure it's how I want it to be. I usually line it up right to the edge of the calendar. Okay, so we're gonna put that down. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and clean off as much glitter as possible. This gets a little difficult, guys, because I mean, it is literally everywhere. But the area that I'm most concerned is, is right here where it touches the paper. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing until I feel like I've gotten as much of it off as possible. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my masking tape. This is low tack frog tape, but don't let that fool you guys. For the so much crafting inserts, this is still too strong. So what I do is I take it and I run it on my jeans or my pants several times before I use it. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay guys, I ran it on my clothing and if you can see it 
picked up a lot of the material off my jeans, but that's okay. I want to try and take as much of the tack off as possible. I have done this several times, and if you do not remove the tack from the tape, it will rip your insert when you remove it. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna run this tape right up against the washi tape. You don't wanna have any gaps. Okay, so that is what it looks like when I am done. Okay, so it is all set and ready to go. I'm gonna take out my Mod Podge and I'm just gonna put a little bit in this corner here and the reason why is, oh, a little bit more than a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why is because I don't want to contaminate my whole bottle with too much glitter and I'm going to dip my brush in and I'm just going to lightly paint on the glitter tape and this masking tape will help protect your insert and you're just going to want to brush it from left to right And it is a little harder to see, but because this glitter tape is so porous, you wanna make sure you get into all the little nooks and crannies. So you wanna go over it more than just once. So I kinda of just run over it as much as I can. And I keep doing that until I can't see any shiny left. I want it to completely look matte when I'm done. Okay, now for filming purposes, I'm just going to remove this mess I made in the corner here, which is no big deal. We're going to just wipe it up with a wipey, and I'm going to show it to you up close. As you can see, I've sealed in as much as I possibly can. So we're going to sit this out, and we're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes. Okay, guys, it's about 15 minutes later, maybe possibly 20 I just went upstairs and made myself lunch and it was really quick, I came back down. As you can see, it's dry to the touch and I'm really happy with the way it's come out. As you can see, it's very shiny. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off this tape. And basically how I'm gonna do it is if you see how I'm pulling it at a complete angle, if you pull it straight down, it has a tendency more to rip. So I'm just gonna slowly pull it at an angle and it's all gonna determine how much of the tackiness you took off this tape. If you took off enough, you will not rip the insert. Go nice and slow and pull it at an angle like I'm doing. And just go nice and easy. The quicker you go and you rush, the more likely you are to rip the insert. And that's it guys, it's off, so we don't have to worry about any tearing. And now I'm just gonna slowly work this off the paper. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm gonna just brush any loose glitter that was on there from before. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to trim the edge And there is an extra little edge here too. I'll be trimming that off as well and then hole punching it and that will be complete. I'm gonna show you a piece of the original tape so that you'll have a comparison. I know it's kind of difficult on my video to see exact, exact details, but to me, it's such a slight difference that I'm not gonna complain about it not being the same. Here is the original piece here, and here is the sealed piece. They are so similar. Yes, it does have a slight matte finish to the top of the glitter, but now this glitter is completely shed free. I can enjoy it on my insert, and I don't have to worry about making a mess. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna do that to both sides. I'm gonna trim the extra off the edge, I'm gonna re-hole punch it, and then I will have really beautiful Michaels glitter tape in my inserts for November. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know, leave them below. Thanks so much for watching, bye.